Hi, I'm Pip from Pip Priest Portraits. I am an artist specialising in figurative art and portraiture and I'm also an art teacher. Quite often with these two jobs I find myself focusing on the skill side of art and honing skills and making sure that myself and my students are producing work which is of a high standard and is going to get good results and good reactions. However, art's not all about that. Art is about the process and about the journey of creating something. It's about sitting down and relaxing and about being mindful. Art can be a really good opportunity for you to take some time out of the day and relax and use it as a meditation. It doesn't need to be about a fantastic final result. It's about reflecting on how you feel and expressing yourself. Just think of art therapy. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some exercises that you can use to reflect before you start a day and to start the day positively. Try to think of exercises where you're not going to need to have really expensive art equipment. You can just do this with a paper and pencil. Although if you want to add colour and you want to use maybe a set of paints that you have at home or some felt tips, highlighters, you can even actually paint using coffee. If you just add different amounts of water to your coffee you can get different tones and things like that. So don't be intimidated by, I don't have any art equipment, you can use anything that is around you in your house. This is for everybody. So you're going to need to find a space at home where you feel comfortable, where you're less likely to be distracted and where you're less likely to be disturbed as well. So today it's a lovely day so I'm out in my garden and um, I love being out in the garden. I can hear other people in their gardens, maybe doing a bit of gardening. I can hear the birds and um, I can hear the trees rustling. So I find that that is really helps me to get into a state of mindfulness. But in the winter, this is the UK, we're not going to be able to sit out in the garden. So you could sit at your kitchen table, that's somewhere that I might sit. Um, maybe you have an office space, maybe in your bedroom you have a desk. Just make sure that your desk is nice and clear so that you can keep your mind clear as well. So I've got a number of little pieces of paper. I've cut lots of A4 paper into A6 paper. Just cut it into quarters if you're not sure how to, to do that. I thought it might be good to work on smaller pieces of paper so that I'm not tempted to do these all day because trust me, when you get into the zone, time passes and you don't realize how much time you're spending on these things. These exercises are only meant for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes tops a day. Um, they're to get you into the right state of mind, to progress with your day positively. So you don't need a big, massive piece of paper. You just need a little piece of paper and this piece of paper is gonna get you into the right state of mind for today. So, for the first exercise, I thought we'd start with something really simple. These exercises get gradually more technical and you'll be able to adapt and combine aspects of them as we delve further into this. They're not about the final results, they're about the creative journey and drawing something mindfully. This simple one will allow you to put your mind to something that requires imagination and small precise hand movements. You're going to fill the page with lines and ovals that vary in size, direction and length. By doing this exercise, you should find yourself focusing on the present moment. Where do you want these lines to go? Do you want them to be an even distance apart or varying distances apart? Do you want them to have an even length or varying lengths? Straight, oval or wobbly lines? How do they connect to lines that you've already put down? And where might the next group of lines go? The second exercise is very similar, but instead of lines, this time you're going to draw circles and spirals. Try to think of different ways that you can connect the different sizes and shapes together. Can you fill in the gaps with other shapes? Try to make sure that each circle is completed by joining the start and finish of every line. This one will require more concentration than you'll realise.
exercise three becomes more intuitive. I'd like you to draw a line all around the page. The line might have jagged edges or it might be smooth and flowing. Draw a line and try to connect it at the end. Select some colours. It might be colours that you like or it might be colours that reflect how you're feeling. And colour in your image. In exercise four, you can explore creating different patterns. Draw a grid using straight lines and you can fill each box of the grid with whatever you like. In my examples, I've used shading and color, but you might want to try using patterns of your own that you've drawn or anything you like in each box. Here are some examples of how you can use shading or colour to get different patterns and effects. This exercise is very similar to the last, however, I've tried to change it by not using a ruler. I quite like the quality of wobbly lines. I think it gives a more organic effect. The possibilities of patterns that you can create with colours, tones and patterns are endless with this one. Just have fun with it. For this next exercise I decided to do a little bit of Google research. We're going to create a Zentangle patterned animal. So I searched for animal outlines, I decided to do my favourite, cats, and then I searched for Zentangle patterns as well for inspiration. Copy your outline or imagine your outline of your favourite animal and then separate it into different sections. In each section, fill your design with patterns as detailed as you can. This is going to require a lot of concentration. We're getting a little bit more advanced now, but the more concentration you put into your drawing, the more you will find that you escape into that drawing as your focus will be solely on the drawing. This is where you'll really start to find mindfulness. For our final two exercises, we're going to create mandalas. Mandalas are collections of geometric patterns and symbols. They can mean lots of different things. They are used in various spiritual traditions. They are sometimes used to focus attention on spiritual people or sacred spaces. Today, we are going to use them for meditation purposes, to allow us to escape into our drawing, to focus on the drawing and the patterns and the repetitive patterns that we are going to create. Start in the centre with a circle and work out from the centre with repetitive shapes. You might want to take inspiration from other pieces which have been created through research. You might want to take inspiration from patterns in nature or you might just want to create something completely new and abstract. These are our final activities. Once you have finished these, you can further work into them with colours 
and bear in mind that the shapes and patterns that you create might symbolize how you feel. If you feel happy, think of shapes that would be soft and gentle. If you feel angry, you could create more jagged, aggressive shapes. Sometimes reflecting on how you feel helps you to engage with those feelings and can help you to move past them. Okay, brilliant. So now you should have a really good range of exercises that you can use. They're all adaptable, so you can do them for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or even longer if you want to, to help you to relax. You can use different materials for them, so they can be in colour or in black and white. Um, you could explore different tones if you've only got black and white materials. Some of them allow you to concentrate fully on the drawing that you're doing and allow you to take yourself and your mind out of that space and others you can reflect on the shapes and the colors that you're using to actually reflect on how you are actually feeling so it depends on whether you want to take yourself away from those feelings or whether you want to reflect on those feelings as to which exercise you might want to choose to do on that day and you can use you don't have to do the same exercise each day you can change them depending on how you feel I hope that they're useful to you bye if you've made it all the way to the end of my video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, comment below and subscribe to my channel for more. See you next time.